you know, we, we discussed after the Port Vale game how disappointing it was to concede so late on in terms of the, the injury time. But you get different scenarios in football all the time, so we, we've not thought about that too much, to be honest with you. We're just concentrating on the performance, which is a, the key factor in, in, any, in any game of football. So we go to Grimsby, you know, obviously unbeaten in a, a decent run of games, um, in relatively good form, and we're looking forward to it. Must be pleased on that nine bait game on beating run the standard of performances as well. Cause yeah, high, definitely. And generally, if you perform well, you, you get the results you deserve. We didn't get that at Port Vale, and obviously we were frustrated. And I, I, I sort of vented my frustration after the Yeovil game in terms of the performance wasn't quite where we wanted. I thought last Saturday against Swindon, a good Swindon team, that was a, the most complete team performance we've had. wasn't particularly special in terms of a fluid attacking play or passing football, but it was a certainly effective football. So we were pleased with a clean sheet and obviously the, the couple of goals. Look, three games in a week is always the test when there's a lot of travelling involved. We, you know, Grimsby's a long way away and then obviously Crawley on a Tuesday night. And then we've got a game to look forward to in terms of the, the, the fans and the stand opening on the, on the Saturday back against Forest Green. So, look, it's, it's going to be a difficult week. We've got to manage the bodies as, as well as the minds as best we possibly can. But the lads are ready. They've been ready all season in terms of the training and their attitude. We've just got to attack the game Saturday. Is there anything you can do with the, the Saturday and the Tuesday travelling in terms of that? Well, we had a li little meeting this morning. I won't. Uh, this, I don't, the, the full details of that meeting but we were saying about how we're going to use the coach journeys and if they're doing walking down up and down the aisles every now and then and stretching their legs and getting the right food and drink on board it, it's going to help them and it's, it's up to some of the, them as well they've got to do their individual work on a Sunday on a day off per se in terms of their recovery and an ice bath a stretch a bit of gym session a, a little jog anything they can to give them a, an extra yard on the Monday which hopefully will go into the Tuesday and then we've got to do exactly the same again on the Wednesday following the Tuesday game ready for preparation for the following Saturday um, four and a half thousand at the game on Saturday for Swindon. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Grimsby, as you already alluded to, is a long way. We won't yeah. expect four and a half thousand there, but we still take. That'll be nice. Few, yeah. We still quite, take quite a few to away games, don't we? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's such a, a long distance and such a big commitment, and, and the fans do it week in, week out, and they've always done it. You know, ever since I've I've been at Exeter, the, the away fans have been absolutely fantastic, and our home, home fans getting four and a half thousand last week was was absolutely superb. Look, there's a good buzz around the place at the moment. Hopefully, that can continue with the, the new stand and the away fans um, getting their own stand. Um, but that's that's going to be next week. We've got to look to Saturday first, and the, the fans making the trip to Grimsby have got to see a, a certain type of performance where we've got to be resilient and strong and and, and good in terms of our physical presence against a, a team we've just won the last two games. Yeah, you mentioned they're, they're on decent form. So you look at the league position and perhaps they're not where they, they expect to be, but the last two games they've won, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. They, they had a poor run of five or six games and then they've won the last two. They'll be fresh on the back of not playing last weekend. And like I said, we, we have the discussion every week in terms of our preparation, in terms of the opposition and the way they're going to play and the formation and personnel. But ultimately, we've got to concentrate on ourselves. We have, If we do that to the, to the right manner and, and get our performance right, then you give yourself a chance. Look, it's going to be a good game of football big pitch, hopefully the conditions in terms of the weather and the, 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 the playing surface should help us to some degree. They'll be right up for it, you know, on the back of two wins and, and back in that home place. So look, it's going to be a good game of football. We hope the fans travel in, in good numbers and get behind us and, and hopefully we can put, put on a performance. How, are you, how is the squad looking injury-wise? Uh, obviously chio has gone back to Brentford and had an x-ray. No, no fracture, so he'll possibly go for a scan next week if it doesn't settle down. Hopefully it's not as bad as first feared. Um, Craig Woodman got through an hour with the reserves on Tuesday and Jimmy Oates is fit enough to travel but probably won't play a part. So players coming back as well as losing Chio, um, Troy Brown and Alex Hartridge are the long-term absentees. So the, the squad is a thin squad, um, but at the moment it's, it's relatively strong in terms, of, in terms of personnel, but it'll be tested to the limits this week. How beneficial was that game on Tuesday? Because it was a big win against uh, Cheltenham, wasn't it? You probably just heard me having a having a moan to the other press, but they played their, their under-18s and we can't control that. Um, and it was a, a one-sided scoreline. So our first two reserve games in the reserve league have been a bit one-sided, which we've been disappointed with because we want competitive games for our not even our fringe players, but players who need the minutes. Um, it's so, so important in terms of their, their fitness and their mindset and their, their sharpness in terms of their game. So it's something we've got to address as a club. Um, but the, the ones who played went about it in the right manner and obviously got a, a pleasing result. Mm -hmm.